What's your name? Ryan or Lion? Oh, Ryan. Sorry about that, Ryan. Not bigger. How about that? A little bit, but not as big as we want. <laughs> It's <laughs> How about that? Is that bigger? Yeah. Okay, that's good. I need a girl helper now. Who do I select? How about her back there? She is uh, standing or sitting on her mom's shoulders. She's got great shirt on, great pants, pink shoestrings, blonde hair. <laughs> I'm describing the matter by its observable properties. Since I don't know her name, right? She's on her way up and she's going to hold this big giant balloon. We're going to make these balloons float in the air as if there is a ghost here at Eastwood Mall. These balloons will stand up and they will float one atop the other. Hold that for me. We're going to plug in our fan. And when I plug in our fan, I'm going to add some electricity to it. And that electricity will allow me to turn it on and push an air flow out. There's my air flow coming out now. I would like for the person holding the smallest balloon to put it on top. The smallest balloon. Be careful, one kid's ear fell off the other day. <laughs> cautious, cautious. Okay, it's pushing up. You see that? Pretty cool, right? Now you're going to set that one, the blue one, on top of the yellow one. The blue one on top of the yellow one. Go. Okay. So, oh, don't throw it. Just set it on there. Okay. The yellow balloon guy, find your balloon and let's start all over. Now remember, parents, I'm not doing it for them. That's key. You need to make sure your kids are doing it on their own. Making sure that they're problem solving and figuring it out. Now, set it on top. Don't throw it. Just set it there and let go. Oh, no. Look at that. Is there a ghost here holding those balloons up? No, I need two more helpers. You may go sit back down. 